Vitamins are named initially because they thought they are vital amines. Those vitamins discovered initially were amines. Then they found vitamins which are not amines. So they changed that E. Okay, they removed that E. So now it is just vitamins. What are vitamins? These are heterogeneous organic micronutrients. Okay, they are heterogeneous. That is very important. Chemically, they are heterogeneous. Okay, they are required in small amounts for the normal bodily function. Most of them cannot be synthesized in the body. Most of them, not all of them. Okay, so they need to be supplemented in diet. So these are micronutrients. Vitamins are micronutrients. Okay. We can broadly classify vitamins into fat soluble and water soluble vitamins. Fat soluble vitamins are A, D, E, K. They are stored in the body. Okay. As they are fat soluble, their absorption require bile salts. So, any disease in the biliary system, obstructive jaundice and all, it will also affect these vitamins and it will lead to deficiency of these vitamins. Okay. If you see fat soluble vitamins, they do not contain coenzyme activity except vitamin K. Vitamin K is the only fat soluble vitamin with coenzyme function. All other water soluble vitamins, they all have coenzyme activity. Okay. As these fat soluble vitamins are stored in the body, their excess dose will lead to toxicity. Okay, this is very very important and one important MCQ is vitamin A toxicity leads to injury of what? Lysosomes. Okay, this will lead to pseudo tumor cerebri, headache, nausea, vomiting, all this. Okay, in water soluble vitamins we know that it is B complex and vitamin C except vitamin B12 these water soluble vitamins are not stored so the only water soluble vitamin that is stored in the body is vitamin b12 where it is stored it is stored in liver these vitamins are stored where predominantly in adipose tissue because they are fat soluble okay they do not require bile salts okay all the water soluble vitamins they have coenzyme activity usually there is no toxicity they are they are just excreted in excess dose they will be excreted so vitamins, we have already studied vitamins during our study of metabolism. Okay, for example, folate trap and all, I have clearly explained in the one carbon metabolism. So we won't waste time in discussing the same thing. Okay, so and vitamin A, D and all, it is discussed in the physiology videos. So we won't discuss that much here. So I will focus on the points which are needed for exams and the understanding of your metabolism. Okay, very very important point. Some vitamins can be synthesized by the body, some vitamins are synthesized in the body. You should know the difference. For example, niacin. Niacin is not a true vitamin because it can be synthesized from tryptophan. 60 milligram of tryptophan is equal to 1 milligram of niacin. Okay, vitamin D, it is also not a strictly vitamin because it can also be synthesized in the body okay so these are the vitamins which are synthesized by the body by metabolic processes there are certain vitamins which are synthesized in the body but not by the body they are synthesized by the intestinal flora for example vitamin k biotin okay these are the vitamins synthesized by the intestinal flora that is why if you see the newborn, we give vitamin K because the intestine of the new newborn is sterile. Okay, there is no common sal. That is why we give vitamin K in infants, newborn. Okay, this is very important MCQ. Recently they have asked which of the following vitamin can be synthesized by metabolic process. The answer is niacin. Okay, here another peculiar thing. A vitamin is needed for the synthesis of another vitamin. Pyridoxine, that is vitamin B6, is needed for the synthesis of niacin from 
tryptophan okay this is another interesting point so if there is deficiency of b6 what will happen there will be deficiency of niacin also okay now i want you to understand white tumor okay it is like isomer what are white tumors these are the compounds with same vitamin activity so vitamin a contains three vitamin white tumors okay retinol reti, retinal and retinoic acid retinol is alcohol okay retinal is aldehyde retinoic acid is carboxylic acid okay so this is a prosthetic group in your rhodopsin retinoic acid is very very important for cellular signaling in the alcohol metabolism video i have already discussed about the retinoic acid and why there is fetal alcohol syndrome i told you right this retinol retinal retinoic acid here we need alcohol dehydrogenase and excess amount of alcohol it will compete with alcohol dehydrogenase so retinoic acid conversion is not happening retinoic acid is important in the maintaining epithelial cells and all okay so that is why vitamin a deficiency leads to respiratory infections and all okay because epithelial integrity is not maintained see here vitamin k you have three vitamins which we will discuss vitamin e four vitamins alpha beta gamma and delta tocopherol okay out of this alpha tocopherol is biologically more potent okay now you should know the ring structures out of this i will tell you what are very important vitamin b12 contains corin ring corin this is very important c for corin c for cobalt another c for cobalamine okay so cobalamine contains corin and cobalt remember this then you should know this isoalloxacin okay riboflavin contains what iso alloxacin ring all these fat soluble vitamins they are isoprenoid derivatives we have already seen okay they are all containing what isoprenoid derivatives vitamin d is a steroid okay it is like a steroid because it contains steroid ring cpp cyclopentano perhydro phenanthrene ring okay folate is nothing but pteridine plus glutamate okay this you should know folate contains pteridine and glutamate okay it is pteroyl glutamate okay now we should know that coenzyme forms of this b complex vitamins we have seen that all the b complex vitamins they have coenzyme activity let us see one by one b1 thymine it the coenzyme form is thymine pyrophosphate or diphosphate both are same okay when they say tdp or tpp both are same vitamin b12 riboflavin is also known as warburg yellow enzyme this is important for national board of examinations okay warburg yellow enzyme is they can give b1 b2 b5 b6 the answer is b2 there are two coenzyme forms flavin adenine dinucleotide flavin mononucleotide fmn and fad they accept electrons okay fmn is always a prosthetic group okay it is always tightly attached to enzymes fad can either be a prosthetic group or a coenzyme which can freely move vitamin b3 niacin again has two forms nad nadp we know that NADP NAD both can accept hydride ion but only NADH will go and give the electron to electron transport chain NADPH will give the electron for reductive biosynthesis reactions okay vitamin B5 is pantothenic acid it is a component of coenzyme A so many times we have discussed the structure of coenzyme A 